Hello everybody! This video is about making a clean installation of Windows 10 from a USB drive or DVD on a computer or laptop. You can choose to install a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows. If your PC has less than 4 GB of RAM or its processor doesn't support 64-bit systems, you should go for a 32-bit Windows. Otherwise, you should choose a 64-bit system. Take note that a 64-bit version takes more space on your hard disk. If you have a license for Windows 7 or 8 and you want to upgrade to Windows 10 for free, use Microsoft's special offer for customers who use assistive technologies. First of all, you will have to upgrade to Windows 10. Find the link in the description. After that, the system will activate automatically and you will be able to make a clean installation without losing the activation. For installation, the first thing you need is a bootable USB drive with Windows 10. You can find detailed description on creating such drive in my previous video, and you find the link in the description. Before starting, make a backup copy of all important data from your local disk where your operating system is installed to another disk or media. When installing Windows 10, this disk will be formatted. I'd like to note that all files and folders on the desktop are also stored on the local disk containing the operating system. After that, restart your PC and go to BIOS or UFI to make it boot from a USB drive. You can find detailed instructions uh, on creating such drive in my previous video. Find the link in the description. After booting from the USB drive, you will see a standard Windows 10 booting window. Depending on the computer's configuration, this window may be booting from several seconds to several minutes. In the next window, choose the language time format and currency, as well as keyboard layout, and then click Next. After that, click on Install Now. At this point, you can also go to the Restore environment by clicking on Repair your computer, but we are not interested in that now. Then you will see a window saying Setup is starting. That is, the system is getting everything ready uh, to install Windows 10. It can take some time. Accept the license agreement. After that, you get to the window uh, selecting the installation type. The first type is Upgrade. If you choose it, all your files, programs and settings of the previously installed system will be kept, and all the Windows files will be saved to the folder Windows.old, the same as in the case with upgrading your operating system. The second type is Custom. It lets you run a clean installation. This is what we need. In the next window, you should select the local disk uh, where to install Windows 10. In my case, it is C. As I have already said, uh, all data from this local disk will be deleted, so be very careful. If you forgot to make a backup copy of data from this disk, cancel the installation, enter the system and do it. Now select this disk and click on Delete. You will see a warning that all data will be deleted. Click OK. Also, delete partition 1, which is system reserved. I'd like to note that you may have several system partitions and all of them have to be deleted. After that, create a new partition. Left click on disk 0 unallocated space and click Create a volume. In the line volume size, select the maximal possible value. It will be suggested automatically by the system and then click on Next. One or several system partitions uh, will be created automatically. After that, select Partition. It is local disk C and click Next. After that, a standard Windows 10 installation process begins. It is automatic and the computer will restart when it is over. In some cases, there can be errors when selecting the disk to install Windows 10. The first error – Windows cannot be installed on this disk. The selected disk has an MBR partition table. On EFI systems, Windows can only be installed on GPT disks. There are several ways to fix this problem. If there is no important data on the hard disk, just delete all partitions and then create them again. As a result, the system will automatically convert the MBR disk into a GPT-1. But if your hard disk contains important information, for example on local disk D or in other partitions, you should use a special program for converting MBR and GPT disks. 
AOMA Partition Assistant Pro. You will find the link in the description. You can also fix this problem without converting. Use booting from a USB drive in legacy mode instead of EFI. The corresponding mode should be enabled in BIOS. The second error. Windows cannot be installed on this disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. This situation is similar to the first error. To fix this problem, you can also delete all partitions and then create them again, as I said before, or go to BIOS and enable booting with UFI instead of CSM – Compatibility Support Mode, or go to UFI to disable Legacy Boot. You may need to create a bootable USB drive supporting UFI booting again if this error doesn't disappear after changing settings in BIOS. The third error. A media driver your computer needs is missing. This could be a DVD, USB or hard disk driver. If you have a CD, DVD or USB flash drive with the driver on it, please insert it now. There are several causes why this error appears. The first is using a broken distributive. In this case, the solution is simple – just use another distributive to install Windows 10. The second cause of the problem is the program you use to make a bootable USB drive. Try using other programs, and the best should be using official methods to create a bootable USB drive. All of them are described in my video about creating a bootable drive. You will find this link in the description. The third cause is a problem with the USB drive. Try using another USB drive as a bootable drive. Also, your flash drive may have several partitions, in this case, they should be deleted, and you can find the link to the manual in the description. I'd like to know that another way to fix this problem could be resetting your BIOS. The fourth error. Uh, we couldn't create a new partition or locate an existing one. For more information, see the setup log files. In this case, you should also delete the partition where you want to install the system and then create it again. In fact, that's what I'm doing when installing Windows 10. The fifth error. Uh, the system can't see your hard disk when installing Windows 10. Such error is frequent with laptops or ultrabooks with SSD caching and also in some disk configurations using SATA, RAID or Intel RST technologies. To solve this problem, go to the website of your laptop or PC manufacturer, download this driver to your flash drive – it can also be a bootable drive – and decompress it. After that, in the window where you choose Partitions, click on Load and specify the path to this driver. After installation, you will see a list of partitions and will be able to continue with installation of Windows 10. Now let's get back to installing Windows. As you can see, after disk selection, the process of installing Windows 10 begins. I'd like to repeat that it is automatic and the computer will restart when it is over. After restart, Windows will get devices ready and adjust the components. Depending on the computer's configuration, the process can take up quite a lot of time. Uh, sometimes it seems to freeze with a black screen. It's ok, just wait. When it is over, the computer will restart. After the restart, a settings window will appear. I recommend using standard settings. Then you should choose who owns this computer. In my case, I am the owner. In the next window, you can enter your Microsoft account, create it if you don't have one, or just skip this step. In order to create a Microsoft account, click on the button No Account, create one. Enter your email, or if you don't have it, click Get a new email address, and then create any email address which is not used. Enter your password, choose a country, and click Next. Then enter your phone number. In the next window, choose the settings you need and click Next. After that, you'll be offered to use the function Windows Hello. This function is a two-stage examination – your device with biometric data or PIN code instead of password to enter the device, services and applications. I will skip this step. 
In the next window, you will be offered to either activate the function OneDrive by clicking Next or to cancel it by clicking this PC only. Which I do. After that, you will see a greeting window, and the system will start the process of getting your device ready to work. When it is over, the system boots to desktop, and it means that Windows 10 is now installed. If you liked this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. We'll be glad to answer any questions in comments. Thank you for watching, and good luck!